Hey guys, so uh, I've been playing uh, Batman Arkham City for quite some time, actually, if I'm to be honest, because uh, I had the flu when I was supposed to review it and I didn't review it, but I still wanted to review it. I figured you guys might want to know my opinion, even though it's like a two-month-old game. So anyways, Arkham City, is it any good? I loved Arkham Asylum, but this game's a slightly different direction, open-worldly, which can kind of be hit or miss sometimes. So is it good? Does it make you feel like Batman? Uh, or does it just make you feel like you wish you bought a different game? Anyways, here's my opinion of Batman Arkham the City. After fighting through the hallways and corridors and sewers of Arkham Asylum, Batman is back again and this time in Arkham City. The story takes place about a year after the events of Arkham Asylum, and because of all the, the hullabaloo and all that stuff, people have been frustrated with the prison system, so basically they cr took a section of Gotham City, walled it up, called it Arkham City, and put all the prisoners in there. And of course, you being Batman, you know better than to believe that this is just going to be a prison like any other, and that there has to be something strange going on. And of course, there is something strange. Something Hugo strange. <laughs> you, you see what I... D I'm, I'm sorry, that was stupid. Evil Dr. Hugo Strange is running the prison, and Batman knows that there's something going on that he has to stop. And again, just like in Arkham Asylum, Arkham City is full with all kinds of supervillains and all the your big-name favorites, some of which weren't in the last game, some of which were that you get to fight. It would probably take too long to list all the awesome villains in this game, so I will just go and tell you, they put Calendar Man in the game. Don't know who Calendar Man is? Nobody does. But he exists. He is... You can Wikipedia it. He's in the game. That's how many villains are in there, that they put Calendar Man in the game. And while Arkham City was mostly going down corridors and sewers with these tiny little open areas occasionally, Arkham City is one big open world. You're free to go explore anywhere you want. You can, you see something in the distance, you hear someone cry for help, you can go over there and investigate. That's what's so great about it. They also give you the tools to explore the city as you will. You can fly anywhere, you can use your grapple, glide, doing all the stuff that feels very Batman. There is obviously a main story that you progress through, like in any open-world sandbox games, but uh, outside of that, you can just go anywhere, do anything, and be the best Batman you can be. This game really makes you feel like you're Batman. That's because you are Batman. Look at it out there. This city is dying, filled with criminal scum, and cops too corrupt to do anything about it. Innocent people dying every day on the streets. You're the one that they need. You're the hero I could never be. You are the Batman. But I don't think I have what it takes, Batman. Nobody knows until they put on the mask and go out there and fight the way you have to. Also, you're incredibly handsome and any woman would, would be lucky to be with you. <sighs> I need to get outside more. In terms of the combat, they haven't changed too much, obviously, because they didn't have to, because it was really good in the first game, they just improved it. They've added to Batman's move set. They've, they've made it easier to do certain things, they've added like little tricks, like you can do a, a cartwheel thing where you put explosive gel on the ground to knock people over, and all kinds of really awesome moves. They've also changed up the enemies and added different variants. Like, there's there's an enemy with a riot shield or an enemy with body armor, so you have to, like, stun them first before you can knock them out. And obviously guys with guns and guys with, like, taser batons and all kinds of crazy awesome things. The combat, much like everything else in the game, is, hey, you got all these tools. How would Batman do it? I don't know. You figure that out. The story is also, I think, a little better than it was in Arkham City, because you've got all these villains in one place, but not all of them are exactly involved in what's going on, and the ones that are maybe aren't, you know, as involved as they thought, maybe they're pawns and stuff, and it just, it's really well written. And of course, all the different boss fights are, are unique to the characters that you're fighting, so they feel very fun and refreshing. And of course, you don't finish the game by fighting a completely uncharacteristically awesome, like, monster joker enhanced guy, which was stupid in the last game. I don't know if I'd call uh, Arkham City an open world game so much as a, a Batman simulator. That's basically what this is. It's a Batman simulator. It's it's the most pure Batman simulator. There are racing simulators and, and uh, flight simulators, and now Batman simulators, because that's what this is. It's like, hey, be the best Batman you can be in a world where you can be Batman, and that's what it is. You are Batman. This game makes you Batman. You turn into Batman, and it's incredible if you love Batman, which I love Batman. Uh, so it's it's really fun. It's I like that it, it gets progressively harder, so it, it, you don't feel like you're oh, I'm so amazing because I can defeat everyone without even to try. You know, 
you do become amazing and you defeat everyone, but it's, it's challenging still. They keep throwing more stuff at you and you have to, you have to think about the combat. It can be frustrating because uh, you're like, oh, God, why do I keep dying here? And you do kind of see the scenes. Like, it, it, it is very much like you step into a room and you're surrounded by guys that you have to punch. And then you step into another room and you're surrounded by guys that you have to sneakily take out one at a time and rinse, repeat, ad nauseum. And then a boss fight and stuff. But it's still, it is the best Batman simulator out on the market.